You know, the way I imagine item and mode, maybe it's because I'm coming from old school, but everything has to be done solo. But in RuneScape 3, that's not the case because you can actually group boss, pretty much any boss. Like if you want to go Zami, as long as the other guy is an item man, or I guess multiple people as well, you can go with like five other item men. You can, can just share, you can use loot share or potentially free for all i'm not sure if that works and i was soloing this vindicta guy for a good play buddy it's a power armor tier 80 i would even replace it instead of elder rune that i have even though that gives more defense but this would be like power armor i'm not sure if it degrades even if it does it doesn't matter but uh, one guy invited me and like, hey you want a duo and i was like hey well i haven't done that pretty much ever i've done for like maybe 20 kills in the past so i thought why not right maybe i can get some loot and i did i pretty much got every single kill that we got so it was kind of leeching as you can see this guy was dealing a lot of damage the reason why i was receiving pretty much everything is because that guy got uh, next item luchier while he was I guess with other people at Nex. Basically, if you get an expensive item in loot chair like he did at Nex, that means he will no longer receive drops. He has very low chance to receive drops now since he already had one. So it's other people's turn, which was mine. Because I never received anything good in loot chair. So I was getting most of the drops. Yes, it was like leeching. I know I didn't care too much, really. I'm not going to do this all the time. I thought I would just do off and, and we did for like a couple hours, I think. And I collected 3,000 Dragon Bones. Because Vindicta drops like 230 at a time, sometimes like 280. It is insane. I, I was getting like pretty much every single drop. You can see my inventory is full of drops. And Araxi, well, actually, I'm going for Araxi today, so this is going to be completed sometime. Oh my god, I just got a lance. <laughs> Oh no, I feel bad. I already lead so much from here. And here's a <laughs> Oh no. Screenshot that. Yoink. Yeah, so I got a second lance, which was perfect actually, because I like to kill Araxor daily, maybe like three, maybe sometimes four kills. Well, last time I tried to do four kills, I died. So I tried to keep like, three kills you know let's not uh, overextend again and that means i can augment my weapon now because i want to have a regular lance where i do slayer or do whatever so it doesn't drain any charges because if you use charges then you have to do divination and it's very very slow i don't want to do that but to kill araxor with a buffed weapon to put all those perks hell yeah you know it it it's not like I'm gonna camp like five hours of Slayer in a day. It's just like, what, 40 minutes of Araxor, one hour maybe in a day. It's not gonna drain that many charges. So this is actually perfect. This one is usable. The second lance, which is worth 50 mil, by the way. Last time I think it was 44 mil when I got it. Oh my god, a spirit yak. No way. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Oh, wait, I showed this animals. I'm very sure. You see, you see, I have recorded this probably like three times, but I'm not sure how many times I actually included in the video. I got a fortune chompas, which are all female. I cannot breed them at all. All of them from this guy, Trapper. I got two spirit yaks, also female. Could not breed them. Two zygomites, actually male this time. So, if I get this as a male, I can start breeding spirit yaks. Now, usually you the way you get them is by making yak pouches. It's I think it's 1 in 5,000 chance. You need 96 summoning for this. I could get this way earlier. Please. Oh, my God. I'm so tired of breeding this cows. Come on. I, I'm too scared to click. Oh. No. 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 Really? This is so sad. Not going to lie. This, this actually. Oh, no. So sad, dude. So sad. I can't believe it. What's with these pears, man? I can't believe anything else. The spiders are the only thing that I have, and it's so annoying because I feel like I miss on, out on so much experience. Now, currently, I would love to upgrade my player own farm a little bit. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to try to get new animals, but the problem is that all of them are very difficult to get. You see, this one is very easy, but it seems too easy. Apparently, it's 16% chance when you're harvesting one of these that you will get a, uh, one of the animals, and then you can start breeding if you get 
two of them but i cannot do it because i need a medium to run one tasks right it's not a big deal it's just medium tasks so i just go to achievements i scroll down a little bit i'm like happy oh hell yeah let's let, let's do this you know it's gonna take a little bit of time to grow but it's no problem and then i see i cannot do quite a bit of them and then i see what 66 hunter for a medium that me 77 how, what how is it 77 hunter medium task i don't i don't get this one there's like a lot of quests I mean, man this is like uh within the wait within the light look at that this is within the light 75 wood cutting 75 rain 70 fletching 69 agility how is that a medium task i do not understand this is so odd to me so what are elite one then what do you need oh those are elite tasks mm. i see <laughs> i see okay well oh my god the ritual of majorat everything okay well um very interesting i would say but i really think that those did not belong to medium tasks all right let's go 160 tiers collected this has to be on archaeology which kind of sucks because i wanted a hunter oh my god that is so much that is three levels there we go all right guys so tonight we're gonna do some slayer because it's been a while since i've done it uh, yesterday i completed a few tasks i don't think i recorded it i had the um, uh, how they call the mutated uh, tortoises whatever they called i forgot uh, and i got 19 tortoise shell which is super amazing because they take quite a while to get i had 150 to kill and i got 19 in total because currently i have a black dragon task now initially i wanted to go for a king black dragon because I thought, oh yeah, right, you could do it, it's quite easy, because this is like RuneScape 3, but also you could do Queen Black Dragon, but I kind of want to focus on Slayer experience, so I'm going to do a little bit, because if we switch this to Reaper, I have 9 Queen Black Dragons to go, so probably going to finish off 9, and then the rest of them I'll do at the KBD. Now, QBD actually sucks quite a bit, mainly because I think he's going to melee me from this distance, so I'm not sure. Uh, it sucks because I don't have a super antifire, so I have to use the regular one. Yep, that was a melee hit maybe here, because I still want to get a buff from this uh, thing. So what I'm using currently, I'm using uh, Chaotic Crossbows and Dragon Bane Bolts, which provide very nice accuracy against dragons. So combine that with a Slayer Helmet, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it should be very good, but QBD is not my favorite boss because of this. You saw that? It has a lot of damage. That's why every time I go through the walls, I either go into these cracks or equip a dragon fire shield like now and then walk. Yep, sometimes it allows you to just walk through no damage. Now, this is actually not my very first skill that I've done. I think I killed close to 50, 66 queen black dragon. Oh my god, I don't remember killing them that much. But I got three royal pieces in total, but two of them are unique. One is duplicate. So it would be nice to get full a royal crossbow, mainly because I could augment it for invention and then destroy it. Because I don't want to do it uh, for chaotics, because you know I don't want to destroy them. I also hate siphoning because it requires double XP and you get the same XP in invention. I just don't like it. I mean, it's double energy. It, it's not that good. And I can just go back now without even restocking because my pet is currently full with food and I don't use that much. Oh yeah, there we go. New personal best. Just as I mentioned last last time, 155 excellent do i get anything for it nope we got some snapdragon seeds which are literally 300 each in this game but we're iron man so who cares yeah oh again 155 wait wasn't last time exactly the same or was it one second or something yeah it was 155 new new personal best and now I'm 155 maybe i did in one game take faster or something <laughs> look at how much food i use in here too dude the slayer helmet is so good in combination with the uh, death swiftness as well u logs very nice some rock tail as well they do add up eventually i had like 100 that's like good for two aroxies oh 75 qbd killed in total so far oh i don't have that oh my god and oh, and i got a vc as well <laughs> ah now i see i think uh draconic visage can be disassembled uh, maybe there are other uses. I think you can also make a weapon from it, like a, a tier 80 Bane, Dragon Bane weapon. But So I'll have to investigate on this one. Probably, I don't know if it's actually worth a lot. Oh, it's actually worth 1.1 mil. I did not expect that somehow. I thought it was going to be like completely crashed. But I guess Invention, once again, saves an item. So I will actually have to take these two, because I cannot bank everything. My bank is full, once again. 
Let's see, royal. Yep, that's a new royal piece. Look at that. So I'm missing one piece, and I think I would be able to do it then. One of 42 new personal best. Let's go. This one was, was a very, very smooth, nice skill. Also had the weak to range phase as well. Let's see what's in the chest. Some new logs again. I probably already, like, this is so quick, right? You can see the kill times. I probably already collected, like, 1.2k U logs in, like, half an hour and maybe 40 minutes or something. Oh, I think that's my third one, actually. Finally, it's nice to see. I say finally, but it's probably been like 15 kills or something. So let's check. I don't know how the last one looks like, actually. Let's see, Royal. Yeah, that's a sec. Oh, okay. So that's a second one. That two, two, and one. This guy's not moving at all. Wait, why is there no DC? Wait, can I click? Wow, that's a huge lag. Okay. And it's not my internet. Nope. It refreshes everything fine. Well, that was a clutch, you could say. <laughs> I started lagging. I still did like uh, three QBD kills. Why is there no co connection lost? In old school, this, this could have been like a long time ago, DC'd already. Oh, oh my god, did I get it? Oh my god, did I get it? Yes, dude, wait. You see, a lot of people, when I asked, especially on the live stream, people told me, but am I even recording? Yes, I am. So people on the live stream told me it's not that good of a body because it's hybrid. It doesn't provide any DPS. But wait, I'm going to show you very soon. Time stop. There we go. Well, I call it time stop. So if we pick this up, it should provide approximately 10. Yeah, prayer bonus 10. There we go. That is such massive. Like, if you combine all set, helmet, there's actually gloves, boots, cape even. A amulet I already have because that's from... Oh, actually, I'm using a different amulet right now because I need my prayer to be back. This is actually so, so good. Yep, there we go. Players have one in a thousand chance to roll a Dragon Rider equipment table. So any drop at all could be gloves, could be boots, cape, anything at all. But if you want specifically a play buddy, it is one in a 5,000 drop, which I wasn't. So I'm just going to say that I rolled one in a thousand drop rate because anything would have done. This is actually my very first drop. All right, uh, this is going to be the perfect task once again. Warped tortoises is what I'm going to pick. I'm hoping to get at least 20 shells, which can make me 20 war tortoise familiars. Can I teleport out, please? Please. I finished my task already. You see, when I did QBD, I don't think... I feel like this is literally infinite, because when I did QBD and I got DC'd, two minutes passed and nothing happened no disconnection even nothing so i feel like this time is also the same so i feel like i just have to restart my clients and there we go 243 greater demons gonna stack nicely with my reaper task as well maybe can get that last subjugation piece which are a legs what is that kill a total number of bosses 2000 oh well I don't know what says 17 out of 2,000 though, because I, I'm very sure I do have uh, 2,000 bosses at this point, like all combined, not not just this one. Oh, there we go, a Slayer level as well. This guy gives so much Slayer XP, I think close to like uh, 4,000 or maybe like 3.5k or something. I'm getting 150k Slayer XP an hour. I don't have the thing right now open, but that's what I've done before. Uh, so yeah, two more. The funny thing is, I could kill Abyssal Demons like such a long time ago, I never had them. Because I've heard they're so crowded everywhere, except the Kuradal's dungeon, which is perfect. That's where you go for Slayer. And uh, yeah, I never had them. Three levels. Uh, you can also pick two tasks at the same time. So you would assume maybe, but nope. Yo, 98 magic, very nice. Actually, I, I was thinking when I'm gonna get 99 magic because for the longest time I've been to like 96, 97. So this is the perfect opportunity to level it finally up. One more level to go. So got uh, currently two 99s. I don't think I actually showed you that I got 99 constitution like a couple days ago. Start effigy and, wait, lantern, but also got so charged like just from a minion. Well, that's the first one in a long time, actually, since I had five. That was the limit. I couldn't get any more. I recently exchanged all of them. And there we go. That's three 5k XP because I cannot do fletching or woodcutting. You need 92 in those skills. Mm -hmm. 
boots of subjugation my fifth pair of subjugation boots let's pick these up man it's been like what two tasks now and uh that's well actually that's my second drop that i got i forgot that i got a garb of subjugation all right that was the last kill final i can do something else as much as i love doing this i pretty much love this only because of the experience that's it uh, and Zami Wines, you see this? 52 Zami Wines noted that once I can make, which is very quick, I think at uh, 72 Herblor, you can start making super range pots. Look at all these Zami Wines. So this is not a waste of time. Like, I, I could kill even more. Eventually, I will have to make extreme ranging potions, which will be needed for overload as well. But uh, if we go to Beast right now, and if I go to Karel, I could have got 700 kills, which is actually higher than Grador, I think. Yeah. Wow. I think I've done like 200 uh, today and a little bit of yesterday combined too. Wait, what the hell? This guy's an Iron Man and his total wealth is 36 billion. The other guy is with 5.7 billion. What I have is 351 mil. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye.